hello uh, so today I'm going to film my December favorites video because I feel like making a video yeah so I hope the light is okay uh, if I keep looking right there that's where the light is and I'm making sure that it's not burning because I have a cloth over top of the light to make the light more muted so I don't look as washed out um, that corner Sorry if that looks a little fuzzy. It's the light and I couldn't really make it go away. So, woo, okay, enough babbling. First off, that's my cat. This is Cowgirl. She is my best friend in the whole entire world. And I love her to death. She's the cutest kitten in the world. Her name is Cowgirl because, well, she looks like a Holstein cow. And you see that right there, the top black spot? If you look at it and really use your imagination, it looks like a coffee bean. Anyway, she's super adorable and she loves me. Oh, she's purring. Okay, well, I guess she can be in this video because she's a December favorite too. But she's a forever favorite and I love her. And she's seven years old in kitty years. Despite the fact that she looks small, she is not that young. Oh, and most exciting thing. She has a little short stubby kinky tail because when she was born the umbilical cord of her sister was wrapped around her tail. But she got rescued. Now she is my best friend. Okay. Goodbye honey. Okay so I have a couple favorites this month. There are things that I've been using this month but also that I would have put in other favorite videos for other months but this is the first favorites video I've done. So, let's just randomly grab things and go. First off, my nails. Now, the camera's picking them up is very red right now. It changes, the color really depends on what light I'm in. Like, right now, they do look red, so that's pretty much what they look like. But under fluorescent lights, like in one of my classrooms, they look really purple. So, I don't know. They're very exciting, and I enjoy this color. It kind of changes with the lighting. And this is what it is. So right now it looks pretty red in that too. Um, it's just show colors. Charming Nails Nail Polish. It was some cheap brand, but it's actually pretty decent nail polish. I suck at painting my nails, so it's, and I'm kind of impatient, so I tend to put layers, second layer on when the other first layer isn't completely dry. So it's got a little bubbles and it's kind of soft because it didn't fully harden, but it's not bad. The brush isn't the best, but it's doable, and it's been on for a day, and nothing's chipping, so that's positive. Then let's go to this. This I actually didn't buy for myself. Everything I bought for myself, except for the one, two, three things I'll mention up there. So this is one of those crystal nail files. It's like made from crystal I assume well, actually I don't think it's legitimate crystal I think it's like glass but anyway frosted glass or something but it's a nail file and they work insanely well and they pretty much as far as I know never go bad like the ivory board ones eventually you just wear them down and they're done and you can pretty much just wipe this one and then it looks new too and I don't know they're really pretty my mom got me and my sister both one for Christmas so that's pretty exciting and then I got this, which is the lip gloss I've been wearing for a while now. Um, I don't have it on right now, I don't think, because it kind of wears off after like a couple hours, two hours. Um, it's much more pink. It's like a deep hot pink in real life. Not orange as the screen thinks it is. Uh, it came with one of the inexpensive beauty kits, but I actually really like this stuff because it's really colored and it stays on for like two hours, which is pretty good for me because I generally lip gloss falls off of me really fast because I'm always licking my lips or getting rid of it somehow just because I'm kind of spastic. Um, then while we're on the lips category, this I did not buy. This was a Christmas gift from one of my um, mom's friends. She's kind of my aunt. Um, it's soft lips which I know a lot of people like and I've had a soft lips before but I had it when I was really young and I don't really remember using it or anything but I actually really like it it's really soft hence the name and I don't know it seems to work pretty well I had chapped lips and it cleared them up pretty well like normal stuff um, it's USDA organic so that's exciting um, yeah 
then this one's in acai berry. I can read totally normally. A C A I berry. So, Ooh. then let's go on to blush. Um, in the winter, my face tends to wash out even more, but rather than in the summer, um, I'm really pale in case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of ghostly. Uh, and in the summer, I tend to wear bronzer to make me look like darker so I don't look as white. In the winter, I still look white, but I don't really wear bronzer, so instead, I seem to wear blush to make my pink's cheeker, my, wow, my cheeks pinker, and so it, I don't know, it somehow makes me look less white oddly enough. So this is just CoverGirl. It's in the color Plumberry Glow. It's just the really, it's brighter in person. It's just the brightest color that they had when I got to the store because apparently what I've heard and what I've found to be true is the brighter color you use is better as long as you, you know, just apply it well. It works somehow. I don't know. I use it. I use a big fluffy brush, blush brush because this brush is kind of ridiculous and it cakes it on and then you look like artificial and it's really super awesome. Um, then let's go to my Maybelline products because there's two of them. So this I just recently bought. It's Maybelline New York Line Stylist in Sapphire Glimmer. It's just a navy blue and it's really pretty because in case you didn't know, you probably can't see once I upload this to YouTube because uh, the quality of the film is actually pretty good, but when I upload it to YouTube, for some reason, it drops off the face of the earth. So, um, my eyes are actually blue, despite the fact that they'll look gray, and to you, they'll probably look just colorless. Um, so this actually, generally blues make my eyes look green, but for some reason, this actually does help my eyes look blue. And this shirt, this shirt actually makes my eyes look very blue, so they look blue today, in person. Um... Then, this is the mascara I've been using since I did a review of three Maybelline mascaras. Uh, I did that a couple months, like a month or two or three ago, something like that. And this is one of the ones that was in it, the Colossal Volume. And I have it in the color Glam Black. And I'm kind of in love with this mascara. I've been wearing it every day. I'm wearing it right now. Oh. Um, I don't know, I just, I like it. Not to mention it still, it amuses me that it smells kind of like, not really good, but it smells not like normal mascara. It kind of smells like flower. I don't know. I find it amusing. Then, there are the two things I've been using to help prevent and get rid of my acne, because I don't really get acne. I just get little breakouts, and they kind of come and go constantly, and it's really annoying. So, this was actually also a gift, but once it runs out, I will probably buy another one. It's Kiss My Face Obsessively Breakout Organic um, Acne Gel. So you can either apply it all over your face, or I use it as a spot treatment, so when I get a uh, zit coming, I apply it, just a small amount on my zit. And it does help um, clear up the red and make it, like, heal. It kind of, that's basically what it does, is it helps it heal. It doesn't, like, try to, like, make it go away or something. And then, there's this. This is an at-home remedy. I got the recipe online, and it's um, supposed to be some kind of acne wash. And I really like it because I just use it every night. I put it on, and then I go to sleep with it on. I guess that's okay. Some people are probably like, oh, gasp, don't go to sleep with things on your face. But I do. And then I wash it off in the morning, and it, I don't know, I feel like it cleans my face. It's got honey, apple cider vinegar, green tea, and maybe something else. I think that might be it. Um, Google search apple cider acne face washes or recipes or something like that. And then I just put it in a little spray bottle I had around. So, those are my favorites for the month of December. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, talk to you guys later.